Let's make Crock-Pot Philly cheesesteaks first. You know, I got that 50% off thin sliced meat. We're gonna put it in the Crock-Pot. Also, slice up a green bell pepper. I sliced up half an onion. I meant to fry the other half later, but I was too tired by the end of the night. Also, don't judge me, beefy onion Lipton soup mix. This is what the recipe called for. It actually makes a bomb ass gravy. So I sprinkled the soup mix over the top. I added, of course, some more garlic powder, also some onion powder, thank you dollar store. And then you're gonna add about a cup of water. I mixed all of this together. Um, remember that I had mushrooms in the fridge, so grab the mushrooms, added about half of the container. You can add the whole container. It's whatever makes your heart happy. Covered it and let this cook for six hours. Do not peek. That is the secret to tender meat. A little steamy, but this is what it looks like at the end. This is my first time ever making Philly cheesesteaks, so y'all please go easy on me. My partner warned me that this is like a religious dish like collards are in the South, so, you know, advice is appreciated. Anyway, I think I did pretty darn well. This is me scooping the meat and vegetables out of the crock pot, and you will see later why. I should have bought a French baguette, but these were on sale, some sourdough hoagie rolls. You split them in half. Um, I used Havarti cheese and provolone. I know the classic recipe is cheese whiz. I couldn't bring myself to use cheese whiz. And the other thing, you can use American cheese. I fucking hate American cheese. It's not real. Also, sorry, the video is cockeyed. I didn't catch this when I was editing the videos. Whoops. Anyway. Cover the cheese with some beef. Um, I topped it also with provolone because I like all the cheese all the time. In hindsight, I should have toasted the rolls first and then melted the cheese. Again, this is my first time, so um, I threw all of this in an oven, broiled it for about two to three minutes. Just keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. This is what it looks like. You can see the cheese is melty and gooey. For the juice left over in the crock pot, I scooped it out into little um, sauce containers and this is what we dipped our sandwiches into. Holy f This shit was bomb. I'm not even gonna lie. I could have drank that just like straight out of the little container. Anyway, these are what my sandwiches look like. I would say all in all, not bad. It was surprisingly easy to make. I will definitely be doing it again. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.